world. So, Everyone. Yeah, the whole world's watching, so no pressure. <laughs> Yellow all. <Yeah. laughs> so, uh, how is it? I, lo- I love the fact that we see so many different things at Aftershock. When it comes to these festivals, people think it's just rock and metal. And I saw Run the Jewels smash the place with Nine Inch Nails. How do you find playing these kind of festivals? In fact, the first time I saw you was at a Muse Inc. festival. So I know you're like a duck to water to this, but what is the experience like bringing something that isn't as pal- uh, to the same palette as everything else on the bill? Yeah, I think uh, rock festivals have always been the best energy I, I grew up on festivals like this, so I saw Beastie Boys and uh, fucking Nine Inch Nails yeah. and Red Man and Method Man at Lollapalooza. Yes. You know, way when I was a kid. So I like the energy. I like rock and roll energy, and I think we we have a high energy show I agree. That, that fits the fits the scene. But I think that, uh, you know, if you're a true music fan, and you know, you're going to like multiple genres. Of, Agreed. You know what I mean? That's Agreed. true. I, think I don't think anyone think, here yeah. is like, I only listen to rock. Fuck Absolutely. everything. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, I, yeah. Open-mindedness is, yeah. So, is so great in the rock community. Because like, things like yeah. gatekeeping are just so fucking annoying, especially like, you know, bands like MGK playing and bands like Metallica playing and all these. Like, I'm glad 2021 has opened up Bands people and, like MGK. Oh, <laughs> yeah. listen. You know what I mean. <laughs> no, it's tight. Yeah. I, was, I saw him in Nashville a couple of nights ago. He crushed it. Yeah, I mean, I saw yeah, I, we, funny we played that. Warp Tour with him in 2014 when he was when he was rapping on a stay. Uh, it was like Kevin said stage or something, yeah. you know, playing to uh, 50 to 100 people. So I know that he's been grinding for 10 yeah. plus yeah. years. So yeah. to see him on a headline, I, I always say, hey, good for you. You know, I mean, that's if okay. you want to hustle and do whatever you want, that's yeah. fucking amazing. It's up to you. you yeah, just do it. Yeah. And okay. 2021 has been pretty interesting year for you. You came up with five records. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, we ju- well during uh, quarantine we would just we just went nuts yeah. and started making a bunch of music. So I did in August. I had collected five albums, and I I do have a rock and roll album that I wrote and recorded with um, Shooter Jennings in L.A. No way. Incredible, incredible. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, so that's coming out in February. You're just like putting and it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be earlier, so we had all we had like five projects. We we're like, yo, we got to put this shit out, like, or else it'll, it'll never come out. And like, these aren't so EPs. We, these aren't like five songs. You got like thirteen songs on every single one. I'm like, holy yeah. shit! I don't think I've ever seen an artist put out this I mean, much content, music in I mean, a year. That content is beautiful. I think being able to put out and just you know put out quality stuff and and put out that much yeah. is like. That says a lot about how you are as a musician. That's fucking yeah. amazing. Well, I mean, it's like it, it, it wasn't like and a master plan. Situation. Yeah. Adapt, didn't it? Yeah, it just happened, and we yeah we put put it all out in August. So uh, uh, along with my last hip hop studio album, which is called Mud Mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got yeah. I've got I've got to ask I've got to ask Shooter Jennings, what's the personality vibe like with the two of you? Uh, the shooter and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's, uh, well, like, well, what's it like in a hu- in a very human environment? Well, we've known each other a, a long, long time. Plus, we partly, we were sharing space as kids. We went to church with one another and didn't even realize it. Wow. Like his mother, his, Small world, man. Yeah. Like his father, obviously, yeah. Waylon. And my mother was uh, married to Randy Travis's stage manager. Oh, wow. So we were around yeah. the same circles when we were kids. And then, you know... Music kind of brought us back together about 10, 11 years ago. So, so we started setting seeds for this album back then, honestly. Very cool. And you've been doing a lot of collaborations for pretty much your entire career. Yeah. You've done uh, ASAP Rocky and Tech 9 Busta Rhymes, and all these people. Is there anyone that you have wanted to work with over the years that you have not had the opportunity to? Man... Uh, yeah, obviously, there's plenty. Uh, I could, there's a long list of artists that I would like to collaborate with, but I've kind of found that not talking about it works better. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to like throw a bunch of names out there, and I thought, you know, if they hear this, they might yeah. not do it just because they Absolutely. heard this, you yeah. know? 
So fuck all just that. Just man- manifest it in your own yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, in, my, you in my mind's yeah. eye. You know, I do. I mean, I've, I feel like you've, because I have a mutual friend that I worked for you, and I feel like I've, I've followed you for a while. How do you think, I, I just, on, seeing you on Instagram as like, I feel like you're also like a fashion icon as well. What do you, how do you think your fashion has to deal with your music and your live performance and things like that as well? I mean, that's a great compliment. Um, you know, like when I used to, artists that I grew up l- loving and being in love with it was all encompassing you know what i mean mm-hmm. I, it's a package whether it, whether it's meshes, man. yeah whether it's uh gnr or wu-tang clan yeah. it was the whole thing that made it that made it amazing and um fashion is just part of it's a, it's an outward expression of what's going on inside musically and you know, so we, we as a crew and myself especially, I just keep pushing it. And um, I, I don't know how it all happened, to be honest. I mean, whether it's you know skinnies and snakeskin boots and leather, you're or, unapologetically or, yourself. Or, yeah, and just it's like amazing. fuck it. Yeah, it's, it's and great. Uh, just. I could tell you that skateboarding was a huge, huge I feel like I can, influence I, make, on, yeah, I, I, on that fashion makes sense, sense yeah. period. Yeah. You know? Was, just music, like, was we music were, as well in terms of that? Yeah, really yeah, it was that stuff. combination of music and skateboarding and just finding things that no one knew about yet, you know, yeah. that kind of shit. Do you, still, do you still live your life that way? Because I feel like we've been, hanging out, we've been hanging out for five minutes now and I love the fact that we've spoke country, meth and red, <laughs> guns and roses, like... It, I love this stuff. That open-mindedness, um, when it comes to creating, it's one thing to listen to loads of different types of music, but to be fearless when creating music. We speak to unsigned bands a lot, and I think that's such an important message out there. Do you think that that's, especially in 2021, when it's everything from hyper-pop to whatever is going off at the moment, do you think that that's a, an important thing for the future, for people to just not be like, hey, I like Metallica, here's a load of James Hetfield riffs. Like, does it feel like open-mindedness is the future? I'm not sure that it ever wasn't a driving creative force to be open-minded. At, at, at any point in time, whether it was the 70s or now, there's just certain artists that are going to always do things that are surprising. And um, I, I, because I grew up infatuated with classic rock and gangster rap music or hip hop core or skateboarding and outlaw country, those things just meshed into a sound for me. Yeah. That doesn't mean that uh, it's going to work. Everybody has their own recipe, man. Absolutely. So I think the future of music, it would be better, I think, uh, for people to shut their doors and turn their fucking phones off if they want to actually become an artist than get off of social media yeah. and go figure out how to be an artist and stop depending on likes, views, these endless and unfulfilling statistics that are not going to make you a better artist. You've got to like really clear your mind and check the fuck out. Yeah. Amen. And then come back when you're ready. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. I, I think that more than anything that that's for the future, I would say that's my advice. Check out, man, you know, yeah. just you I like it. get out of, get out of, get out of everybody's yeah, you Get out of your of own like way, basically. Yeah. New yeah. bands tr- doing it for the wrong reason. They're not like doing it to because of the music. Like they want to be famous, or they want all these girls coming around, or this or that. Like I, I feel like it's yeah. quite rare to find new bands who are really raw and in it just for hey, the music. You just gotta get putting your fingers in and getting dirty. I think yeah. there's like loads of artists out there. We are so happy you are one of them. Yellow Wall. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thanks for taking the time.